Mel, it's Rich with Project F30. I hope you're doing well. Um, today has been coming for a long time. Um, today is the day where I actually pulled the JB4 off of my car and we're gonna do something absolutely wondrous. Today, we just purchased Boot Mode. BM3, whatever you want to call it. We're really excited about it. It's uh, one of the most innovative flash tunes out there on the market for the BMW F30. I'm super excited. Um, you know, I've been, I must have been talking to Brian from Keys Motorsports for ages about this. And finally, this day is here um, because the JB4 just wasn't cutting it. Um, I, was, I was having some really interesting tunability issues and I wasn't happy with the way the car was running and things like that so boot mode from pro tuning freaks these guys are absolutely amazing their product support is wonderful with they've got a Facebook community they've got a lot of things going on that are really really excited and we've been waiting for this day for a while JB4 while it is a good tune it's still a piggyback and we're running into some issues because basically what it does is it tricks the DME into making changes with the way that the the car runs with boot mode you can take it and basically do an off-the-shelf tune which uh, the pro tuning freaks have done a really good job at putting out some really great off-the-shelf tunes based off of 91 octane 93 octane running e30 e85 um, they've even brought in um, like stage ones and stage twos and burbles so that's um, something that I'm actually really excited about but they have been the innovators um, at this point in the flash tuning craze, and I'm really excited to try them out today. Boot mode can be done on a Mac or a Windows laptop. Either one is perfectly fine, but the first thing that you have to do is actually go buy a license. So we are actually going to visit our friends at keysmotorsports.com to buy our license. and. You know, Keys Motorsports, Brian over there has been doing an awesome job at supporting uh, BM3 and he, if you've got any questions or concerns or anything about it, he's been running it for a while and he's only got wonderful things to say about it, but um, with that being said, I'm excited to try it and get a, a feel for it myself. And then when you finally go and search the product listing to find what you're looking for, make sure that you buy what's right for your engine. I have an N26, 328i, and I'm going to add that to my cart. And then once you get completed through all of the prompts to make your payment, you're going to receive an order confirmed number, and you're going to receive a second confirmation from boot mode with an activation code within 24 hours, it says. To tell you the truth, the waiting's what killed me the most. Now while we're waiting, we can go ahead and go to bootmode.net. So that's B-O-O-T-M-O-D-3.net. And this is pretty much going to be the website that you're going to use for connecting to your car and doing all your tuning. Everything was pretty much done on the cloud. So, you know, you've got access to all of the maps that Pro Tuning Freaks offers and everything that you have personally purchased. And that way you can actually go in here and, you know, as you're connected to your car, you can switch maps, make changes, data log, and things like that. One thing that you definitely want to do is go ahead and download the app on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, you're gonna wanna have that on your phone. You could do one of two things. You can keep the computer in the car and then connect to your computer via Wi-Fi, and that way you can run everything on the app on your phone um, or there is a wireless agent that you can install it's a separate piece of hardware so that you don't have to have your computer in the car and then you can also link your phone to that and change tunes and and make changes and use all of the features that boot mode can use before I set up an account, um, you actually get a software license activation key. This one's mine and you get a separate email and <laughs> Brian actually included something fun for me in here. So um, you can use this as your activation code. And we have already gotten here to bootmode.net. And if you haven't created an account, then of course you're gonna go to create an account right here. I have, I was a little excited to get this. So I actually am going to sign in here. I don't tend to link a lot of stuff to my Facebook, but um, anyways, you can create your own ID and password. Log in. 
And on this screen, this is the first screen that you're going to see, and I don't have any registered vehicles here right now. So I'm actually gonna have to go down here and add add new vehicle and then also download the obd agent this is what you're going to have to keep open whether you're using your laptop or the standalone agent that you have in your car you're still going to have to load this software in that activation key that you had earlier you see where it says activate vehicle click on it and then it allows you to open the agent if you've already downloaded or download it here and there's a list of instructions and once you get here you can actually ensure that you are allowing access on your firewall my suggestion is actually to turn it off but that way you have unlimited access for boot mode to make changes and to flash your car hey so once we get to this point we're actually going to need to get in the car to flash it so that's important you're going to need an enet cable it's OBD on one side and then Ethernet on the other side and you can get this off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. And then of course you're going to need to bring your computer with you and you're going to plug that up to the car. And there's one thing that's absolutely important as well. Make sure to turn off any power that you possibly can because you're going to be in accessory mode and you're going to need to access the battery but you don't want anything else draining that if you're a little worried then just hook up a battery tender to the uh to the poles in front of the car for, to charge your battery and to keep it plugged in and you definitely want to make sure that you buckle your seatbelt because there's something about our bmws that if you plug the seatbelt in it prevents the dme or prevents the car from going to sleep and i know it's a little sunny here and you can see just barely but you can see that it actually connected to my car and reads my car and the agent to the obd connection is up and right here it actually says obd connected not registered and now i can click on that and then i'm going to be able to confirm my vin number and then put in my activation code that i found in my email now my vehicle has been successfully registered and i get to pick a map from the ots map screen and flash it and that's awesome so on the left hand side you're going to look at this three line thingy some people call it a hamburger other people don't it is what it is my vehicle shows that it's connected by this little blue dot there's a dashboard where you actually go to do some uh see some values and such and you actually can see some gauges of how the car is running and such Go over to data logs if you're using the data log feature i will feature that in another video diagnostics so there are some different things that you can see here and you can read your codes there's some adaptations for the car the control for the exhaust valve active sound and go to maps it'll actually show you what maps that you own I don't own any right now, so I have my stock tune, and this is some some way that you can always go back to your factory tune at any given time, and it's always here to revert back to. There's also a request custom button, and that allows you to be very active in talking to a PTF tuner, a boot mode tuner, to help you create maps by sending data logs back and forth and uh, accomplishing what you're looking to accomplish. And the moment that we've all been waiting for, OTS maps. So you can take a look at all of the different maps that Pro Tuning Fe Freaks has, um, and it shows you all of the maps for your car. You can see that mine defaulted to the N20 EWG, Electronic Wastegate, and L for low compression. And you can see all of the different maps that are there based off of fuel, based off of how aggressive you want the tune to be, and things like that. There's a stage one and stage two, and provides a description. So you can see right here, there's a stage 293 octane AGG, which means aggressive. And then it shows that recommended hardware is high flow downpipes, front mounted intercooler. And they also have a version number. So this is on version three and it shows when it was released. And actually that's the map I'm going to choose. So you'll actually see a big red button and it says get tune. If you don't already own this tune, you're gonna see this button. And we're gonna click on that. And it says, are you sure you'd like to acquire the map? I'm absolutely certain I am. And it's going to take a minute to add that. Success, we have been added. And now we can proceed to flash. So back on the map screen, I'm going to click on the actual map. It's going to give you a description again on and the recommended hardware. It is an OTS map, so there's no 
additional updates. Because this is the first time that I'm picking up the map, it says that the map import is in progress and will be ready for flashing momentarily. Please wait, I've been waiting all my life. Okay, now that the map is downloaded, you're gonna see a big red button that says flash. And it says flashing downloads the map to your OBD agent folder first, then proceeds to flash it to the DME. First time flash will take longer as it will do the DME unlock as well. This can take about 15 minutes or so. It does use uh, in an internet connection if you do the online recode, which we hope not to do, but everything else comes from the OBD agent. So here we be, and this is gonna be great. I'm so excited when we hit flash. says press here to flash now and absolutely we're going to do that it says battery chargers highly recommended turn your headlights off and your fan off and plug in the driver's side seat belt and this is what we talked about earlier and then of course I'm not using a piggyback I took it off and here we go Oh, this is so awesome. After it finishes downloading the map, it says preparing the vehicle for programming. You're gonna hear some pops and dings and some error message will pop up because it's unlocking the DME and it is basically prepping everything and reflashing. So just don't, don't be alarmed, it's perfectly normal. Passenger restraint system, transmission malfunction, steering, brake system, Everything that could kill me. Yep, just be ready for all of that. But just be patient. Just a reminder that this process can take about 15 minutes, so don't freak out. Here's an idea of what can make someone freak out. Just watching everything on the comic flip by. It just makes you believe that you're just gonna not be able to ever drive this car again. If I'm not mistaken, if you look at the top there, there's a red bar, and I think that's actually a progress bar. As of right now, I'm like a schoolboy. Um, I have no concept of time. I really don't know how many Mississippis we've been through. All I know is that bar is moving! And now it says clearing codes in all ECUs. It actually just had a message that I missed. Couldn't tell you what it was, but I think it said it was completing everything. We're so close and everything looks like it has flipped back to normal on the iDrive and success so 93 octane AGG has been flashed successfully in offline mode please turn your ignition off for 20 seconds and then start the car so 20 Mississippi's is how we do it in the south so get ready for that one Mississippi two Mississippi Mississippi, four, five, Mississippi, six, Mississippi, 15, Mississippi, 16, Mississippi, 17, Mississippi, 18, Mississippi, 19, Mississippi, 20. Remember when you were playing like backyard football and you had to wait before you could blitz? That's what I think of, but I used to just run through one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I think we're done. Well, the car starts, so that's a good sign. Let's say this. There is a lot of cool stuff that boot mode has and I'm really excited to try it all. Um, I'm really excited to make a video about all of the features and the data logging and the app and all of that stuff. But for now, this was just mainly to get installation. I was able to get the car started. The car sounds great. I'm really pumped about it. If you ever had a doubt, this is an absolutely awesome tune. Um, I need to drive the car around, test it out for a few days, see what I think of it, but I have no doubt in my mind, especially from the feedback that I've gotten from other folks and myself, I'm really excited because I think I'm going to absolutely align with all of them and say this tune is life-changing. So anyways, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know, leave me a message, drop me an email, um, drop me something in the comments here. But most of all, you know, thank you as always for watching, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helps. 
please subscribe to my page and please find me on Instagram at richprojectf30. Um, I'm really excited to see all of you guys. And if there's anything that I can possibly do for any one of you, please just drop me a line and let me know. Thanks so much for watching.